Hello, this is mixtures and allegation lesson three, and in this I will also discuss more examples on allegation. These examples will be a bit different than the examples we discussed in the previous lessons. Let's start with the first example. Uh, in what ratio water must be mixed with milk to gain twenty five percent by selling the mixture at the cost price of milk? So we are selling. Can I say selling price of mixture? We are selling the mixture at the cost price of milk. This is given to you. Now, selling price we know that is always equal to selling price of mixtures will always be equal to cost price of mixture plus profit because we are gaining twenty five percent as given the question. So twenty five percent the gain. So can I say cost price of mixture plus profit is always calculated on the cost price. So can I say profit is twenty five percent of Cost price, cost price of mixture. This becomes cost price of mixture plus twenty five percent. I can just can I say this is one by four cost price of mixture. This will be equal to selling price of mixture. So can I say selling price of mixture will be equal to five by four times cost price of mixture. The ratio selling price of mixture to cost price of mixture. This ratio comes five is to four. It means that selling price of mixture and cost price of mixture will come in the ratio five is to four. If you want, there should be a profit of twenty five percent. Here I will apply the allegation. So now we can assume, as per our convenience, can I say cost price? Uh, if I am assuming cost price of mixture as hundred rupees, so four becomes hundred, so five will becomes one twenty five. I am multiplying both by twenty five. This just For the sake of convenience, four becomes hundred, five will become one twenty five. Now, selling price of mixture was cost price of milk. So, cost price of milk, selling price of mixture was cost price of milk. This is also one twenty five. Now, we can simply apply the allegation. What we are mixing, as I told you in the previous lessons, we are mixing in this case milk and water. We need to calculate in what ratio milk and water are mixed. So we'll take on the top. Milk cost. We know that the cost price of milk from the top. This is one twenty five. Cost of water is zero. Average cost of mixture. Cost of price of mixture is hundred. This is given to you. Cost price of mixture is hundred here. So I'm taking hundred. This is good. Again, subtract diagonally smaller value from the larger value. So hundred. We subtract from one twenty five. This becomes twenty five. Again, hundred minus zero hundred. So this ratio comes four is to one. It means that your milk and water must be mixed in the ratio four is to one in order to have a profit of twenty five percent as per given the as per given conditions. So in this way, you can apply the allegation. Next example. Please try to pause the video. Try to solve yourself. Then look at this way I have explained. The question says that in what ratio solution A containing milk and water in the ratio two is to three must be mixed with solution B containing milk and water in the ratio three is to two. Resultant mixture that is given to you in this the milk and water ratio is fifty three is to forty seven. Again, I can solve this question with the help of uh, equation as well as allegation. First, I will solve with the help of allegations. Two allegations I will solve. You can either take the milk allegation, or you can take the water allegation. Milk, we will take the milk. We are mixing solution A and solution B. First, we look at what we are mixing. We are mixing solution A and solution B. A contain milk and water in the ratio two is to three. A contain milk and water two is to three. So concentration of milk in A would be two by five. That is forty percent. So A contains forty percent milk. Why forty percent? Because ratio is two is to three. I'm just writing here. Uh, milk and water ratio in A is two is to three. So milk fraction would be milk would be how much two by five. That is forty percent. So total whatever be the volume. Forty percent of that will be milk. What about the milk in B? 
in b the milk and water are in the ratio given in the question 3 is to 2 so milk will be 3 by 5 because total parts are 5 3 parts are milk 2 parts are water so milk is 3 by 5 that is 60 percent so we're mixing 40 percent milk solution with 60 percent milk solution finally is given that resultant mixture in the mixture the average average uh, concentration of of milk is 53 to 47 this is a milk is to water ratio so milk concentration will be 53 by 100 53 plus 47 53 by 100 53 percent as i discussed way to use allegation wherever the average concentration average price average profit is given you can use the allegation in this case final mixture in the final mixture average concentration of milk is given to you as 53 by 153 percent so we can apply the allocation again subtract diagonally smaller value from larger value 60 minus 53 this is 7 53 minus 40 13 so we should mix solution a and solution b in the ratio 7 is to 13 option number one not only you can solve this question with the help of milk allegation you can solve this question with the help of water allegation uh, let's say please try first yourself pause this video try to solve this question with the water allegation by taking water in solution a water in solution b and water in the final resultant mixture i am taking this a and b now what is the concentration of water in solution a water is milk is to water a milk is to water in a milk is to water is 2 is to 3 in B, milk is to water is 3 is to 2. So, water is 3 by 5. 3 parts are water, milk, 2 parts are milk. So, water fraction is 3 upon 3 plus 2. 3 by 5, that is 60 percent. So, you are mixing 60 percent water solution. B contain again 40 percent water solution. Overall, water percent is how much? The mixture contains milk and water in the ratio 53 is to 47. So, can you say in mixture? the water concentration is 47 by 47 plus 53 47 by 100 47 percent again subtract smaller value from the larger value diagonally 60 minus 47 you get 13 47 minus 40 you get 7 again the answer is still the same you should mix solution a and solution b in the ratio 7 is to 13 not only we can solve these questions with both allegation, we can also make equations. Let's see how I will make the equation. Here I am making. We are mixing solution A. Let's say solution A is, I am assuming that A is X liters we have taken and solution B we have taken Y liters. A I have taken X liters, solution B I am taking Y liter. Now, I will make the first equation here you can take milk equation as well as water equation I am taking milk equation the question says that to x liter I am taking a liter solution y liters I am taking b solution now milk would be how much we know that in a milk and water in the ratio in a I am writing here a milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 in B milk and water in the ratio 3 is to 2 mixture given that mixture solution is 57 is to 53 is to 47 in the mixture the milk and water are in the ratio 53 is to 47 now I am solving with the help of equation now uh, milk ratio is 2 by 5 2 by 5 is the milk in solution a 2 by 5 of what x liter in x total x liter of solution a how much milk is there milk will be 2 by 5 of x that is a milk in a milk in a m a stands for milk in a plus milk in b b would be 3 by 5 of y liter that would be milk in b m b i am writing here m b milk in b this must be equal to total milk in the mixture we have taken milk in a we have taken milk in b 
total milk in the mixture will be same total milk in the mixture is 53 by 100 of total solution x plus y again solving this you will get the ratio of x is to y same ratio 7 is to 13 you can also apply the water equation these are different way i am telling you you can solve as per your convenience but the best will be allegation method in case you find problems in allegation you can use the equation method but the best way to solve this question in less than 40 seconds is allegation method again i am taking water equation how to make the water equation a solution was x liter water was 3 by 5 of x 3 fifth by 5 of water this will be water in a w a water in a solution water in b w b would be how much 2 by 5 of y liters and water in total water in total mixture is total mixture water in total mixture would be how much water is 47 by 100 of total mixture how many liters we have x plus y again solving this you will get the same answer we should mix x and y in the ratio 7 is to 13 so there are four ways to solve this question concept must be absolutely clear to you you know no need to any no need to have any cramings next question i'm solving is example 3 you should pause this video this is very similar to examples i discussed previously and try to solve yourself because this kind of uh, lessons uh, if you will practice online will give advantage to you if you are not able to solve then obviously you, you can look the solution the question says that in how much water should be added to 24 liter mixture containing milk and water in the ratio 3 is to 1 such that the new ratio of milk and water in the mixture is 2 is to 3 very similar question to the question we discussed i will only solve with the help of allegation you can later apply the equation as per your choice so what we are mixing uh, we are mixing mixture with water what should how much water should be added to 24 liter mixture so what what we are mixing we are mixing mixture and with water we can take in water water percentage we can solve using water allegation or using milk allegation whatever allegation you prefer you can solve this uh, first time solving water allegation so water contains 100 percent water mixture in the mixture the milk and water are in the ratio 3 is to 2 given that milk and water in the ratio 3 is to 1 so how much motor water is there in the mixture this is 25 percent 1 by 4 so mixing water 25 percent water solution with 100 percent water solution finally we are getting how much water must be there in the mixture finally question says that the new ratio of milk and water in the mixture is 2 is to 3 so water is 3 by 5 60 percent again subtract smaller value from the larger value 100 minus 60 40 60 minus 25 35 so we must mix mixture and water in the ratio 8 is to 7 mixture should be 8 8 parts and water should be 7 part but we have given that the volume of mixture mixture is 24 liter mixture is how much 24 liter if 8 is 24 liter if 8 is 24 liter this is given to you so how much should be our water in order to maintain ratio water should be 8 8 into 3 is 24 so 7 into 3 21 liter water must be added because the ratio will, will then only becomes 8 and 7 so answer is 21 liter that is option number b second option same you can solve with the water allegation milk allegation sorry mixture water mixture milk and water in the ratio 3 is to 1 given to you now how much milk is there in the mixture mixture contains 75 percent milk 3 by 3 is to 1 3 by 4 will be milk water contains 0 percent milk we are applying the milk allegation overall milk in the mixture is given that 2 is to 3 40 percent 2 by 5 40 percent so subtract smaller value from the larger value this is 4040 
सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस फोर्टी इज थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी माइनस जीरो इज फोर्टी अगेन फोर्टी परसेंट दिस इज एट इज टू सेवन अगेन द आंसर इज सेम सो आंसर विल बी ट्वेंटी वन लीटर नाउ यू कैन सी दिस हाउ इट्स वेरी इजी टू अप्लाई द एलिगेशन एंड सोल्व द बीस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन लेस देन ए मिनट इन एनी काइंड ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड एग्जाम्स यू आर अपेयरिंग